time now for a look at your health. As you know, it's shorts weather this week with all these warm temperatures. And if you suffer from varicose veins, odds are you don't like showing your legs. But it's not healthy to hide them either. Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD is here to talk about ways to get rid of them and why you should get rid of them. So uh, let's talk about this because um, some of us would like to wear shorts. So what are the causes of varicose veins? Is it a medical issue or simply cosmetic? No, it is a medical issue. You know, even when you just have what we think are cosmetic spider veins, mm -hmm. we did a survey and over 50% of people with just the fine spider veins have an aching. It's so common uh, when I see my patients after we've treated their veins that they tell me sometimes that they never knew their legs could feel so good because they felt so bad for so long. So is it more common in women because um, of pregnancy? Because uh, I didn't know if that was a myth or oh, not. Oh no, pregnancy definitely does it. It's hormones. A okay. lot of stuff is hormones. So women that get pregnant, the more often they're pregnant, the more likelihood or higher likelihood it is to get veins. It's not just having a big baby, but when you have a baby, you have twice as much blood flowing through your body. The leg veins are what, it's a reservoir. It, it keeps a lot of that blood mm -hmm. and it just keeps expanding until finally it's the point of no return. Before we talk about ways to prevent it, um, are they dangerous if you left unchecked? You know, they can be. There was a study done in Switzerland which said that 50% of people, so half of everyone with varicose veins like the size of your finger can develop blood clots, mm -hmm. pulmonary embolus, or thrombophlebitis or leg ulceration. So if you have large veins, not only are you, are you going to improve your circulation by getting them treated, you're going to prevent a lot of bad things from happening. Can you point out some of the natural ways that we can try and at least stave off varicose veins? Well, the natural ways is I actually am wearing a compression stocking. I know it looks okay. good and we won't show it on camera because, <laughs> I, well, I, I guess I did shave my legs. but, but um, you One know. of us did. <laughs> but uh, stockings are very important. If you're going to be upright, shift your weight around. Just don't stand like a, a soldier in the British uh, Army, you know, in front of the, the Queen's Castle. And when you're lying down, keep your, keep your legs up. And those are simple things we can do. Okay, let's talk about some of the treatments because you actually even invented one. But before we get to your version, what is sclerotherapy? Sclerotherapy comes actually from the Greek for hardening. And what we do is we put a, a medicine, which are all FDA approved, safe and painless, into the veins. We sort of squirt this medicine in with a teeny, teeny needle. You don't even feel it. And it basically destroys the inner lining of the vein and your body basically takes the vein away and resorbs it. Now the key thing in sclerotherapy is it's not magic. It doesn't work overnight. Mm -hmm. It takes a month or two for your veins to go away. So if you're looking at those outfits that you're thinking of buying and wearing in the summer, now's the time to get the treatment done. It, it literally is spring cleaning for our veins. Um, tell us about Cool Touch because this is something that you came up with. Yes, in the olden days, and we were talking about like your dad, you, if you had the big veins the size of a finger, you would strip them. Oh, which and is it was a, horribly painful. It, it actually was. And so we actually, here in San Diego, we invented a new procedure where we stick a laser fiber into the vein and we actually can seal the vein closed. All of this is done wide awake under a local anesthesia. You can be back to work the next day. And we're looking at a before and after. Is that from Cool Touch? No, that's actually the sclerotherapy. Okay. And so, and that's just one example. But the Cool Touch is for the bigger veins, the so ones okay. that used to be stripped. So no one does stripping anymore. It's extremely rare. Everyone in the world now does this endovenous treatment. So what is the third option? Well, the third is called phlebectomy. You know, sometimes you have very large veins and they're, they can't really be treated with the injection treatment. Mm -hmm. um, and so with those, we again, under local anesthesia, we make little teeny incisions, not even a, a big enough incision to have a stitch. And we take something that almost looks like a crochet hook and we can tease the veins out. Very simple procedure, very gratifying. The veins are out of the body and the blood gets shunted to all of the other healthy veins that are in your leg. And that's when the veins are sort of like a knot back yeah, there. Yeah, when they okay. look like clusters of grapes, when they're big. Okay. But they're, the key thing for our viewers is it's very easy to have your veins treated. It's almost painless. And if you're thinking about having a treatment, now's the time to do it. Is it typically covered by insurance? You know, it is uh, very often, but of course with the healthcare system as it is today, insurance companies are covering less and less. But you know, even if you don't have insurance coverage, it's not that expensive of a procedure. So absolutely go and see your physician, 
dermatologist, vascular surgeon, who can talk you through the different processes okay. of treating your veins. All right, and now's the time to do it, so you're all ready for summer. Well, thank you so much. Always good to see you, Dr. G. You too. All right, here's Walter.